Hey guys, look at this. I have two Apple Vision Pros here. How's that possible? Is this an AI video or what? No, <laughs> no, it's not. So thank you to Apple for sending me the new Apple Vision Pro with the M5 chipset. Uh, it's, it's a loaner unit, I have to send it back, but still thank you so much. So now I can finally compare the old Apple Vision Pro with the new one. That's absolutely amazing. Um, by the way, this is not a full review because it doesn't make sense. Three months ago, I already made a review about the new functions and new uh, Vision OS and everything the headsets can do. Because the difference is only the chipset and the headband. And about this, we will talk in this video. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo DE. Okay, let's do an unboxing first. So this is not a huge difference to the old Apple Vision Pro that I had, but at least here you can see uh, the difference. It says M5 chip, 512 gigabyte. That's the difference. And now we will open that. Here's nothing inside. I can put it away. And here it is. And you can instantly see that we have this dual knit band here. Yeah, I will put it to the side, so let's check out what there's else. So uh, we have uh, here, this is, uh, like I don't want to take it out because uh, I, I just don't need that, I think. Uh, this is uh, an additional facial interface. Yeah, uh, I, I, will, I will try it if, uh, and see if, if it's uh, better than the other one. Let me, let me get it out, it's okay. Ah, here. Is there something else? No, no, there's not something else. Yeah, this is a different one. And then here we have the um, the manual, how it works, also with the new knit band, and then the clothing to, for cleaning and some security advice things. Yeah, and then here we have the the power bank. Of course, the battery, we have a USB-C cable, and we have uh, the, the AC adapter, that's the European version. Really crazy. So, uh, let's check out how the headset looks, so we have, can see it here. I mean, the, the quality feels insane. This is heavier, there's material inside, and uh, look at this. Uh, so, if you push it, then you can adjust the back band and if you pull it and then spin it you can adjust this here this is absolutely brilliant and everything it feels like the best quality i've ever seen wow well was the same with it and yeah the, the rest is of course the same lenses are the same display is the same and this is uh didn't change only the chip changed and it looks so good, right? Wow. So, yeah, I would say let's check out the differences to the old Apple Vision Pro. Okay, guys, so now I have these two beauties here. <laughs> so, um, we will talk about the difference, as I said. So, the new Vision Pro here has a better performance. It has the M5 chip included, and that means we have 10 cores. Before that, with the old one, we had eight cores. And that means we have faster loading times, faster boot, uh, more fluent web browsing. And also in games that, are, uh, that support that, we, we now have um, ray tracing, hardware accelerated ray tracing and mesh shading. So this is uh, like the lights are more realistic and shadows and mirror effects and so on are better. At least, uh, so now that the developers uh, should do updates for their games, yeah, so that everything is supported. And uh, you definitely see it when you, uh, I mean, I used the, the, the old version first again to see the difference and right after that I used that and you definitely see the the higher performance. Everything is more fluent, very, very fast. You can open multiple windows and it's still uh, very fast. So the M5 chip is very, very strong, uh, really great. And for people that do multitasking, this is even better. But the, the huge difference uh, 
when you just use it normal, you, you use three windows and do normal stuff, then it's not a, a huge difference in my opinion. We also have uh, the neural engine, yeah, the, that's the AI, and uh, we still have 16 cores, but it's uh, faster now, it's much faster now. For example, in the system AI uh, of the headset, we have 50% faster um, AI. And perhaps you, you know that uh, you have these personas uh, in the Apple Vision Pro, so the virtual avatars, and uh, for that you have to hold the Vision Pro in front of you and then create the avatar and so on. And after that it's, uh, it's processing the virtual avatar to create it. And this is so much faster, this is insane. The Vision Pro said it's one minute but it was ready in 10 seconds or so. This, this is insane and it looks so good. The, pers the Apple personas are insane. Nobody comes even close to that. It's, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Also the, the, um, the spatial photos and videos are going much faster now. Uh, and still in third party apps, it's two times faster with, uh, with the AI functions. For the display, there's the same panels. There's no difference, the same resolution, same display, OLED, same lenses and so on, but the M5 chip renders 10% more pixels on the micro OLED display. And the result is uh, sharper and clearer text uh, and more detailed optics. But to be honest, I, <laughs> I mean, I know that it should be better. Uh, and perhaps I see the difference, but this is not a huge difference where you, where you instantly say, wow, this is another headset. No, it's not a huge difference. Yeah. And that the reason is, with the old one it was even nearly perfect. So you cannot do it much better. Both of them are insane. The, the, the picture quality is the best we, uh, or, or at least one of the best we have right now, right? And that's really great. You can perfectly work with it. And now perhaps even better when you have very small text, it's even better, 10% more pixels rendered. So the refresh rate is now 120 hertz. Uh, before that it was 100 hertz. And uh, they say uh, you have less motion blur in pass-through. So you if you see your real environment and you move your head with the old one, I told it to you in the, in the review. Uh, so you have a motion blur effect. And that should be less with the new Vision Pro. But to be honest, there is still motion blur, even with the new one when you move your head. But this is in every mixed reality headset you have this problem, uh, because I think it's a lot of uh, performance that's needed. And uh, perhaps it's a little bit less of motion blur, but we still have it. But guys, the, the pass-through quality of those headsets of the Apple Vision Pro is insane. Yeah, Perhaps even a little bit better now. That, that's one of the best pass-through qualities. And also uh, Apple says, but I cannot try that. Uh, they say you have a more fluent uh, experience by using the Mac virtual display. I don't have a Mac, so I can't try it, but I've seen it at a friend and um, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks very good. You can definitely um, um, use it very good. For the battery life, Apple says now um, we have still 2.5 hours for common use. It's very identical to the M2 version, but they say if you watch videos, you have a little bit more, like up to three hours. You know, that's the only difference. Uh, I, I didn't see a big difference because I use it like uh, for different things at the same time. So I would say it's still 2.5 hours. And now the thing that I was really looking forward to, because with the old Apple Vision Pro, the biggest problem for me was the comfort. So the, the, the Vision Pro, the first one, was so front heavy with this band here, even with the other one um, that comes with it. I, I had like headache after 15 minutes and that was the biggest problem with the Apple Vision Pro. Now we have the dual knit band and that the quality is insane of that. It feels so good. And so uh, we have this top strap and the, the old back strap and there is even a counterweight 
here inside that, I noticed that in the unboxing already, there's a material inside, a tungsten. Yeah, there's tungsten inside and that makes it a, a, a counterweight. Yeah, and that's really great. You can, th this is also very flexible and the, the this, this uh, knob here for, uh, for setting it up is insane. First, the quality is brutal good. So when you push it, then you can adjust the back strap and when you pull it out, then you can adjust the top strap. And that's absolutely brilliant. That's so good quality, wow. So, the question, is the new Vision Pro with the dual uh, uh, knit band more comfortable than the old one? And the clear answer is, oh my God, yes. <laughs> this, is, this is so much better. Yeah, it's so much better. Finally, we have a counterweight. Finally, it, I don't get a headache after 15 minutes. It's really much better, but still it's not perfect. Here, it, on, on, my, on, my, on the bones here, it still sits and pushes a little bit. So it's still not perfect. There are headsets that are more comfortable, but it's definitely much, much better. I also tried the other facial interface, but still the same. And, uh, but it's much better, so I'm really happy uh, uh, with that. Yeah, and you can, uh, for, if you have the old Apple Vision Pro, you can buy the new dual knit band for I think $99, and uh, it also fits on the old. Really great. Yeah? And then Apple says, yeah, we all, uh, it, it will be delivered with the new uh, Vision OS 26, but we also have this on the old one. I made a review about this uh, three months ago, so you can check it out. We have new features like widgets, we have action cam support with 180, 360 videos. And we have uh, better personas, uh, better spatial scenes and so on. That's really uh, very interesting, so the personas are really great. We also have now some additional accessories, for example the Logitech Muse. This is a, a digital pen where you can paint and so on, that's uh, developed for the Vision Pro. And we also have the support for the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. Uh, so we, we can even play PC VR games uh, with that and uh, use it for, for games or so. That's really nice. So uh, what's the price? <laughs> the crazy thing is the, the dollar price is still the same. We have $3,500, but the Euro price dropped. Before uh, that, the Old Vision Pro was 4,000 Euro and now we have 3,700 Euro. Crazy, right? Um, so if you are interested in that. <laughs> so my conclusion, guys, the upgrade is really good. We have big, better performance. It's, uh, it also shows that, that Apple is still into VR and so on. Everything is more fluent, it's faster. And also the multitasking is really good. You can open a lot of windows and still everything is very, very fast. Also the comfort is better. Although you can of course buy the, the, the band for the old one. Uh, what I didn't see a big difference is the 10% more pixels or the, the better motion blue in, in mixed reality. I didn't see it like it, this is a huge blast or so, but it's there. The performance is definitely better and also I didn't see much uh, difference with the battery life. So, who should buy it? If you have the old Apple Vision Pro, should you change to the new one? And the clear answer is no. That doesn't make sense. The difference is not so huge that it makes sense to change to the new one. Yeah? Uh, I mean, you can still do everything with the old one. You can also do multitasking. It's still, both of them are really good. But perhaps if you're a developer and you have the old and you need the absolute hardcore performance, then you should perhaps change to the M5 version. That's uh, more um, performance, yeah. If you still don't have a headset and you're considering buying the one, you, you can only buy the new one right now. You cannot even buy the old one. And who should buy it then? I mean, it makes sense if you're in, uh, in the Apple universe, in the eco uh, Apple ecosystem, if you have an iPhone. I think you cannot even uh, use it without an iPhone because when I switched it on, it says, look to your iPhone to, to uh, set it up. So luckily, I also have an iPhone from my, from my first job. Normally, I only use Google devices, but I have an iPhone and then it works. So if you have an iPhone, if you have a Mac and all that stuff, then it's even 
better to, to, to buy it. If you are, uh, and then you also have the, the uh, Apple Cloud and all the file system, all the Apple apps and so on, the, the whole ecosystem is included in the Vision Pro. But if you are a Google user, you, you, you have your files on Google Drive or use Google Chrome, then perhaps it doesn't make sense, right? So it's for Apple users and Apple enthusiasts that live in the Apple ecosystem, in my opinion, and all, of course, developers. And therefore, it's really, really great. But it's expensive. It's still too expensive, of course, and it's only for people that want the best of the best. So if you buy this headset, you, you pay a lot, but you get the best quality, especially material quality, that you can have right now. You, you only have to touch it once and then you see this is the best material that you can ever have anywhere. Yeah, but it's a high price. So if you have the money and if you're an Apple user, go for it. Also watching movies is great. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I, I will also later do a video about a comparison between the Apple Vision Pro, the new one, and the new Samsung Galaxy XR and the Google Android XR. I will compare them both. It's also very interesting. As soon as the video is ready, I will put it in the description and in the outro. So I hope you liked this video. If yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.